Welcome to Go Explore. I'm Mark. And I'm Catherine. Today we're just outside of Bend, Oregon at the Newberry Volcanic National Monument. In this video, we're going to explore Lava Butte and all of the amazing sites of the Newberry Volcanic National Monument, including the largest volcano in Oregon. Newberry National Volcanic Monument consists of four primary visitor destinations, Lava Butte, Lava River Cave, Lava Cast Forest, and Newberry Caldera. Altogether, it consists of 54,000 acres of lakes, lava flows, and spectacular geologic features near Bend, Oregon. The monument provides a unique opportunity to view the lava lands of Central Oregon. The Lava Lands Visitor Center is the interpretive hub of Newberry National Volcanic Monument. It's an excellent place to begin your exploration of these volcanic wonders. Here, you'll find lots of information to help guide your experience. It is located at the base of Lava Butte. If you happen to miss this visitor center, there's another visitor center across from the entrance of Paulina Lake Resort. Lava Butte is roughly 11 miles south of Bend, Oregon. It is a cinder cone volcano that erupted 7,000 years ago that rises 500 feet above the Lava Lands Visitor Center. It is the most well-known butte of the 400 plus cinder cones found at Newberry. It can be accessed by vehicle or by hiking or cycling up the paved cinder road. Interpretive signs, views of the surrounding lava flow and mountains, and an active fire lookout are found at the top. There are three separate hiking trails of interest. The first two leave from the visitor center. The Trail of the Whispering Pines is a one-third mile paved interpretive loop trail through the cool pine forest along the edge of the lava flow. The Trail of the Molten Lava is a three-quarter mile paved interpretive trail over the lava flow which takes you to the Phil Brogan viewpoint. Here you see behind me a big ball of lava rock. How that formed was a small piece of lava rolled down the hill and gathered lava as it went and grew like a snowball and it ended up this big huge lava ball. So there you have it. The Crater Rim Trail is a one quarter mile cinder interpretive trail around the rim of the 150 foot deep crater. Lava Butte is one of more than 400 cinder cones in the area and experienced only a single eruption approximately 7,000 years ago. The flowing lava helped shape the path of the nearby Deschutes River. In one area, the lava formed a dam creating Benham Lake. The water eventually eroded and overflowed the lava dam, resulting in magnificent Benham Falls. The Lava Sun Trail is a four mile paved hiking and cycling trail from the visitor center to Benham Falls. The falls can also be accessed by auto or by hiking or cycling along the 12 mile long Deschutes River Trail. Newberry Caldera. Newberry Caldera is a 17 square mile caldera formed by the many eruptions of Newberry Volcano over the last 400,000 years, the most recent eruption being only 1300 years ago. This volcano eventually collapsed, forming Newberry Caldera. This caldera is about five miles wide. The most popular attractions of Newberry Caldera are Polina Falls, Polina Lake, East Lake, Big Obsidian Flow, and Polina Peak. When visiting these sites, you are standing in the middle of a large collapsed volcano. Polina Creek Falls. Located in a thicket of majestic conifer species, Polina Creek is fed from and located just west of Polina Lake. Polina Falls is a double 80-foot waterfall which cascades over the volcanic cliffs onto the jumble of rocks below. There's a very short paved trail from the parking area to the picnic sites and a stunning overlook. You can also access the falls by hiking the longer but less traveled Peter Skeen Ogden Trail on the north side of the falls, starting from Palina Lake. There are two lakes inside the caldera of Newberry Volcano, Palina Lake and East Lake. Neither lake receives water from an inlet stream. Both lakes rely on rain, snowmelt, and hot springs for water. Polina Lake is the larger of the two lakes and is up to 250 feet deep. At Polina Lake, you'll find Polina Lake Resort, Polina Lake Day Use Area, Little Crater Boating Site, 
and the very nice lakeside Paulina Lake Campground. Of special interest is Paulina Lake Hot Springs. Paulina Hot Springs is a primitive, undeveloped beach where heated spring water emerges into Paulina Lake. Areas of the shoreline gravel are dammed with logs and rocks and geothermally heated water from the magma deep in the earth flows upward into these soaking areas mixing with lake water. The temperature of the emerging water is extremely hot and is adjusted by varying the amount of cold lake water that mixes with the hot spring water. East Lake is just east of Palina Lake. It is a popular recreation lake with beautiful shoreline, sandy beaches, and brilliant blue-green water. Here you will find East Lake Resort and East Lake Campground. East Lake Resort is a great spot to pick up last minute supplies and to enjoy a lunch on their back patio with magnificent views of the lake. Like Palina Lake, East Lake is popular for fishing, picnicking, and camping. Each season, East Lake produces brown trout over 10 pounds. The record trout is a 22 and 1 half pound brown trout which is displayed in the general store. Big Obsidian Flow At a mere 1300 years old, the Big Obsidian Flow is the youngest lava flow in Oregon. This eruption occurred in three phases, and the third phase cooled quickly resulting in the sharp black obsidian. A one mile lollipop loop interpretive trail climbs up a flight of steel steps and onto the impressive lava flow. While on the flow, you can appreciate the movement of the magma over the landscape. You'll also have excellent views of Lost Lake on the edge of the flow, along with views of Palina Lake and East Lake. The landscape is void of any vegetation other than the white bark pines, which have colonized the lava flow, establishing footholds where no other species can. Palina Peak. For the best views of Newberry Caldera, one needs to drive or hike to Palina Peak. Palina Peak is nearly 8,000 feet in elevation and the highest remaining point on Palina Mountain following the eruption of the Newberry Volcano. The road to the summit is called Palina Peak Road and is unpaved and somewhat steep, rough, and dusty. Vehicles over 23 feet are not allowed. The road exists because a lookout tower was located at the top of the summit but was ultimately removed in 1968. The road is typically open from July until November. There's also a hiking trail to the summit called Palina Peak Trail. The parking lot at the summit requires a recreation pass. This site offers a grand overview of the Newberry Caldera, the south and west flanks of the Newberry Volcano, the Cascades, and much of central Oregon. Lava River Cave The Lava River Cave is nearly one mile in length and is the longest continuous lava tube in Oregon. It was formed by an eruption 80,000 years ago, resulting in a lava tube. After the tube cooled, a section of the roof collapsed, resulting in the present day entrance. Here we are at the entrance of the Lava River Cave. We're going to go watch the orientation and then head into the cave. The cave offers self-guided exploration and it takes approximately one and a half hours to tour the entire cave. For a small fee, you can rent a lantern to guide your way. The floor of the Lava River tube looks like it's covered by sand, but what it actually is is lava sediment that's worked its way through the walls with moisture over time and it's just sitting here right on the floor. It is approximately 42 degrees Fahrenheit inside the cave year-round, so it is best to wear warm clothes and hiking boots. It is also a good idea to bring a second light source such as a headlamp. Beginning August 2022, one must obtain a time reservation ticket to gain entrance to the parking lot. Lava Cast Forest the Lava Cast Forest is a geologic feature containing a 6,000 year old lava flow that created lava molds of ancient trees. The site includes parking and a paved one mile self-guided interpretive trail meandering through the lava casts. The molds were formed and lava flowed around pre-existing tree trunks. When the hot lava came into contact with the trees, the lava became cooler creating a protective covering or mold. The trees then burned out leaving a hollow interior. The molds can be vertical if the lava covered a standing tree or horizontal if the lava pushed the tree over before covering it. Of note, between 1964 and 1966, at least 46 astronauts trained for lunar missions here because the terrain here was felt to be similar to that on the moon.